The land of juicy brisket, country music, cowboy boots, and beautiful landscapes. The South. And the secret's out. People and businesses are flocking to the region. And with the boom comes construction projects as far as the eye can see. And the IBEW's 10th district is sitting smack dab in the middle of the fun. IBEW District 10 is the four states of Arkansas, Tennessee, North and South Carolina. We have 17 construction locals over those four states. This is one of the fastest growing parts of the country right now. With all these companies relocating, there's a lot of opportunity here. And the only problem, well, all four of our states are right-to-work states. Every state in the South is a right-to-work state. They really want to push it on as hard. Anytime you're a, a union uh, working in a right-to-work state, it brings its own challenges. But the IBEW's 10th district doesn't take this sitting down. Led by International Vice President Brent Hall, the 17 locals banded together to create two pivotal district-wide agreements, giving contractors in the area a competitive edge so they can put their men and women to work. This recovery agreement and the 10th district prefab agreement, it allows the contractors to be on a level playing field with the non-union. We've tried to take the hurdles down for the contractors to encourage them to come into the district and invest in the manpower, invest in the jobs. So far, it's been working. The 10th District Recovery Agreement allows for a competitive one to eight manpower ratio. It expands the scope of all sectors of the electrical industry and offers flexible shifts and full portability, allowing for a contractor's workforce to move more freely throughout the four states. Rosenden Electric out of San Jose, California, saw an opportunity for a meaningful partnership. As a contractor, it was very inviting for us. It's like, we can come here and we can do some business. So it was very intriguing to find an open door, to find a, an agreement that was in place that was very easy for us to work with. When we travel out, we plan on putting down some routes, we're going to stay there. So working with the management in, in District 10, we've had a really good go of it. But the 10th district didn't stop at the recovery agreement. They also implemented an unprecedented prefabrication agreement, fully embracing the wave of the future, as more and more customers are seeing the value in assembling complex electrical structures off the job site. The customer does not want all of this material on the job site. When you can prefab it in a controlled environment like this and then take it to the job and install it, you gain a lot of advantages on the job. We are prefabbing underground silicon duct bank racks, underground silicon duct bank cards. We'll prefab the cards here in 20 foot sections with the spacers already in place. It's basically a puzzle and they'll be shipped to site where it's a quick accessible install. The prefab agreement that we have throughout the district now is a game changer. We have major projects going on in Nashville right now. We would never have been able to get those jobs without that prefab agreement. We're looking at limited resources across the land. We're looking at different skill sets that are coming in, and the prefabrication process just makes sense. And to further ensure our men and women are caught up to speed on the ever-changing electrical industry, this prefab shop also runs skills assessments and onboarding programs. The whole assessment started, we just need to know what we have. The IBEW and NECA, the apprenticeship program we have is the best apprenticeship in the entire country and probably in the world. However, our industry is changing rapidly, so we know what skills they need. And then we back it up with a training department that can bring them in and we can train them right there in our offices. There's new equipment there's new material, and this is just to introduce everybody. We've had 30-year journeymen say, hey, I appreciate you Let me brush up on my skills. The locals of District 10 were honest with themselves and faced the stark reality of competing in right-to-work states. So they took matters into their own hands and created agreements that made them and their contractor partners more competitive in the bidding arena, and it's already turning the tide. Our local unions have stepped up and said, we're all in this together. I can't say enough about the local unions in our district and how they work together. And now we're just looking for contractors to come work with us. The 10th district's open for business. <laughs>